Good day, fellow investors. Now, do businesses have a moat, thus a durable competitive advantage today? Technological world, everything changes very fastly. Just think about the mobile phone you used 10 years ago or seven years ago and the mobile phone you use now, the different television, the technology, the car, the navigation system, who uses Garmin anymore? So everything changes very fastly and then it's important to see when you invest, okay, I'm investing in this stock for the short term, does it have a durable competitive advantage or a mode? You want the mode in a business to be as large as possible. And then you have to see whether it's going to be changed, where it can change in the future. A business that has to constantly adjust itself to keep that mode is going to very likely lose that mode. If you look at Amazon, they are investing so much money just to stay ahead and they will continually have to invest that money. So it's very interesting to see whether it has a mode or not. Let's look at six criteria for determining whether a company has a mode. The first one, it has to be a low cost provider. So if a company can constantly be the cheapest one offering a satisfying product to customers, there is no need for the customers to switch to something else. Just think of Facebook messaging platform WhatsApp. For them it's really, it's cheap. You, there is nothing, it doesn't cost anything, so that's why people use it. If it starts to cost, people are immediately going to switch. So Facebook has to be careful when monetizing that. Apart from the low cost, the second point is high switching costs. I'm using Microsoft. For me to switch to a Mac or something like that is a high switching cost. So I use both, especially for video editing. Nevertheless, we'll see whether it's something is going to make it easier for me to switch. I expect that there will be a disruptor there. Somebody, why is nobody going after Microsoft? Is Microsoft so powerful or people are investing in other things? What usually happens in a crisis, somebody invents something new. Now people are just taking advantage of what works. Later, people will invent something new, like the founders of WhatsApp were fired from Facebook, I think. Very interesting how that works. Number three is the network effect. Amazon is clearly dominating online retail, and if you want to sell something, you have to be on Amazon, and customers are looking at Amazon. However, I live in the Netherlands. There is no Amazon here because there is another player from Aho, and it's called Bold.com. Bold they have also such a powerful, they have 2,200 stores, so they are even better than Amazon uh, where they distribute their products and everything. However, their margins in their supermarkets, in their actual old-fashioned retail, is, are higher than their online margins, even if have, they have total dominance. So, yes, they have a network effect, but going back to the lowest cost provider and actually being able to monetize that, that's another question. The fourth one, of course, strong brand name. However, that also changes. Now you can get informed. Negative publicity goes out very quickly. Coca-Cola was the strongest brand. Now people drink less and less Coca-Cola because it starts to get a negative perspective on it. So even brands can fade. Number five, economies of scale. And this is something that still works. If you build, I don't know, a hydroelectrical dam, Nobody is going to build another one next to you because it's unprofitable. If you build a power line, if you build a road, nobody is going to build another road because then nobody makes money. So that's our very interesting things to look at and see how it evolves and really find durable competitive modes in this environment. There are some Brazilian highway companies. I will recheck them and make a video about them because those are interesting mode, durable mode businesses. And the sixth thing that you can always look for durable competitive modes is government protection. Is a company protected by the government? Does it have a monopoly? And you can find that in emerging markets. Today not so much, even Google is fine, Apple is fine, everybody is fined by a European Union, Microsoft was back in the past because they don't like those companies getting too big. To conclude, in this environment, perhaps owning a stock forever, like Buffett did in the 1960s, is not such a good idea anymore. Perhaps owning a stock for or five years, the stock I owned from 2003 to 2007 that was a 510 bagger, is now bankrupt. So it's very interesting how things change very fastly 
And that's why you need to constantly watch what's going on. Does it meet your criteria? If not, hasta la vista, you sell and there will be something else. Whether companies today have those modes, we'll see after a recession who has a mode, who hasn't. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments. If you have any companies that you think has have a moat, please leave them in the comments below. Share it with us. We love to discuss them and see perhaps if it is a good investment where we can invest. I'll see you in the next video.